how to test TREAC using the multimeter. Of course, it has three pins or three terminals, as you can see. So this is the pin number one, pin number two, and pin number three. So here we have the reference or the part number for the TREAC. We have BTA12600B. If you have a better TREAC with this reference, you should replace it with the same reference, of course. Here, this part is used to connect the TREAC with the heatsink because the TREAC get hot when working. So basically, before going and testing the TREAC using the multimeter, I'm going first to show you all about the TREAC symbols. Okay, as you can see, this is the symbol of the TREAC. It contains two diodes, as you can see, and of course, three terminals. So the anode, as you can see, one, well, the anode, two, and the gate. Of course, you can find anode two, or T2, or M2, or MT2. All these names mean the same thing, okay? So here, as you can see, you can find also the symbol for the triac. But basically, the symbol is a, is a clear symbol. The diodes are clear. Here, the same symbol, as you can see. This is also a symbol for the triac, as you can see. Anyway, it contains three pins. So I'm going now to show you a real circuit in order to understand the working principle of the TREAC and how it works. This is an easy circuit that I'm going to explain to you. So basically, this is the TREAC. As you can see, it contains three terminals. Okay. And here we have a lamp. And here this is the a DC voltage, 12 volt DC voltage. And over here, the gate is connected to a switch and to a control signal. We have 1.5 volt DC. This is a control signal. So now the switch is open, the lamp is off. Okay? You know why? Because the triac until now is not activated. So the current, as you can see, is not passed through the triac because the triac is not activated. So that's why the lamp is off. But if we close the switch, as you can see, now the control voltage 1.5 volt DC will pass through the switch and then to the gate. And then now the triac will be activated. So the triac has the same working principle basically as a transistor. Now the current will circulate through the circuit and will pass through the triac as you can see and then of course the lamp will be lit okay so basically the triac has about 80 percent the same working principle as a transistor or a mosfet but in terms of testing it's not like a transistor the triac testing is a very special testing so now let's Test the TREAC using the multimeter. But please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the video. Please, because your likes really motivate me to create more videos for you. And for anyone who wants to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page and I can be your mentor. All links in the description. And welcome to your comments and questions. I always do my best to answer all comments. So let's get started. So we're gonna of course select the continuity option in the multimeter. As you can see. Now a good triac is a triac that shows 070 drop voltage between gate and anode 1 okay between the anode 1 and the gate you should get about 070 in the multimeter so let's check this triac okay so between pin number 1 and pin number 3 or anode 1 we should get about 070 in the multimeter of course if you get 060 or 050 no problem the same so let's check we have about 0 68 means this is a good react even if if we switch the probes we should get the same value 
as we did before. So let's check. We have 0, 0,68. This is a gut react. Okay? So depending on the type of the triac you are testing, you can get 0, 0,50 or, or even 0, 0,40, no problem. So always between the gate and the anode one or between the pin number one and the pin number three, you should get a reading about 0, 0,70, 0, 0,60, 0 50 no problem but between other pins you should not get anything in the multimeter as you can see nothing between pin 3 and pin 2 as you can see the only pins that shows the reading is pin number one and pin number three as you can see or the gate with the anode one and if you get any short while testing the triac means the triac is bad. Now, as you can see, every triac should be connected to its heatsink because it releases heat. It gets very hot. That's why you should always pay attention. If you have a triac with a heatsink, you should always use the heatsink. If you ignore the heatsink, the triac can be damaged because it gets hot. Okay? As you can see, we have the triac now is connected to the heatsink, as you can see. Now, please pay attention. This is the important part of the video. I'm going to show you the key points about the triac or triode for alternating current. You should remember. So let's get started. Let's see first the definition here. As you can see, a triac is a semiconductor device used for controlling power in AC circuits, okay, power in AC circuits. It can conduct current in both directions when triggered, making it ideal for AC applications. So the triac used in AC current, okay? So let's see the structure. The triac has three terminals, as we have seen. MT1, main terminal one, one side of the power circuit and MT2, main terminal 2, the other side of the power circuit, and the gate used to trigger the triac. Now, let's see the working principle. Please pay attention. A triac conducts when a small current is applied to its gate terminal, exactly like the transistor, not the MOSFET, because the MOSFET is triggered or controlled by a voltage but the transistor and the triac are controlled by current, a small current, okay? It remains on as a long as the current flowing through MT1 and main terminal 2 is above the voltage current, okay? So let's see right now the no so let's see the application first and then we're gonna see this. So what is the application for the triac? So light dimmers it control brightness by adjusting power flow also it control the speed control regulate fan and motor speeds heater control manage power to heating elements ac switches operate as electronic switches in ac circuits the advantages Compact and efficient, high power handling capability, low cost and long operational life. Limitation generates heat, require a heatsink, as I have uh, shown you in the previous slides. Always the triac needs or needs a heatsink for high power applications. So it is sensitive to voltage spikes, requiring proper snubber circuits or protection and stabilization circuits okay then may cause electromagnetic interference due to fast switching two characteristics the voltage rating determines the maximum voltage it can block in the off state current rating indicates the maximum current it can conduct gate trigger current we called it igt minimum gate current required to trigger the track okay 
just minimum uh, current. So a holding current or the IH minimum current through into where and empty to, to keep it conducting. Okay, so the come track model we have BT that we find uh, usually BT 136, BT 137, and 138. Basically, uh, popular models for various applications with different power rating. Let's see right now the bi directional operation. I like an SCR silicon controlled rectifier which operates in one direction at react can conduct in both directions so please remember that the react can conduct in both direction making it suitable for ac application that's why we use it in ac application so mode of triggering a triac can be triggered in four quadrants please remember this in four quadrants depending on the polarity of the main terminal 1 and the main terminal 2 and the gate signal so positive gate with positive empty 2 positive gate with negative empty 2 okay negative gate with positive empty 2 and negative gate with negative empty 2 this is clear okay so please uh, remember this that the quadrant where quadrants one and three are most commonly used okay so the quadrants one and three are most commonly used so i hope that you understand about the key points about the triac one of the most important component in electronic so thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe please subscribe to my channel to help the channel share the video and like the video because your likes really motivate me to create more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video